Good day everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to export your Revit sheets in both JPEG and PDF formats. So this is a topic that makes many new Revit users confused. Don't worry because you are not alone. I was one of the confused students in class too. If you want to learn more, please continue watching the video. Exporting your architectural plans are really important, especially if you need to send them to a client or accomplish your plates in school. We also need to make sure that they are crisp and clear so that your client or teacher can see and read them properly, especially drawings with smaller scales. So here we have two sheets, we have the floor plans and we also have the perspective. So the first thing that I'll be teaching you is how to export these sheets into JPEG formats or PNG. So the first thing that you have to do is to make sure that your sheets are ready. You have all of your uh, drawings. Next, you go to the file tab and press export and scroll down. And there you have the image and animations. And then you press the image. So the first thing that you have, that you have to do is to make sure that you pick the right uh, location and where to have your files exported to. So you can change them to um, your most comfortable folder where you can find all of your exports. So here I'll go to my desktop and choose project exports. So save. And after that, you go to export range and select view search sheets. So here, this is where you select your sheets. So for this project, I'll select my floor plans and my perspective. Next, for the image size, we have to zoom to 100. So the default is actually 50, but I already made it 100 a while ago. And in order for the pixels to, in order for the image to be very clear, you have to make the pixels around 10,000 to 15,000. Next, for the format, you can choose any of these. You can go for PNG if you'd like, but I'd like to go for JPEG lossless because for me, uh, the JPEG lossless is the clearest in my experience. After that, when you're done setting up everything, you press OK, and it will just take a little while. So, now let's go to the desktop and project exports and there you have all of your floor plans so as you can see it's actually clear and it's the correct size so this is the scale because we zoomed into 100 percent a while ago in the image settings so now i'll be teaching you how to export your sheets into PDF files. So there are actually two ways on how to do it. So first you go to file. You can either print or export it. So the first thing that I'd like to do is to go to print and press print setup. This is to make sure that all of your that all of your sheets are correctly set up. So for the size uh, you you can pick any size. So for my sheets, I picked A2. So it, because my sheets are in the size of A2, and this is to make sure that it's the scale. So don't uh, press fit the page. Press zoom, so that it'll make it, so that when it prints into a PDF, uh, we'll make sure that that the file is perfectly scaled. And for the orientation, it depends on your project. You can go for portrait or landscape, but mine is landscape. So then after that, you press OK. You can press yes if you want to save uh, these settings for the future Revit session, but I'd like to go for no. Then after you go to your print setup, you can print it. And you have to remember that you have to change from from your printer for the name of the printer you have to change it to microsoft print to pdf and then after that 
you have to make sure that your file location is the correct one then I'd like to combine multiple selected views or sheets into a single file because I don't want to have two different PDFs for one project. So next you have to select your views and you just select your floor plans and your perspective. And now you're ready to go. So this one will take quite a while and you can just rename it into any name that you like so there you have it as you can see uh, this is not the correct size so let's go back So this is a bad thing about using the print setup. It doesn't have all of the sizes that you want and all of the sizes that you need. It only has a limited set of sizes. So that's the downside of using the print setup. But don't worry, there's a better way on how to have your PDF printed. So the fit up page doesn't make it a perfectly scaled for printing so for example I make it a3 and I make it fit the page and then I export it again you can see that it's already pretty much okay but then the borders are not correct so that's the reason why i don't really like using the print button because it's not very accurate so i only use the print button if if my sheets are either letter tabloid legal or a3 a4 a5 but since i'm using a2 i will not uh i don't trust the the print button so I'd rather go for export so export is the more accurate one so you just go to go to your file tab and then export and create PDF so you you so you have to select your views you have to press this pencil button and you can check or uncheck so you have all of your views selected and you can change your file name here and again you have to click this the combine selected views and sheets into a single PDF file and make sure that your location is correct next for the page size this is what I like about the PDF export it's because it has all the sizes that you need it has a4 a3 a2 and a1 unlike the other print feature that it only has limited sizes so for this one i choose a2 and make sure that you zoom in to 100 percent and you can either choose automatic or landscape or portrait and for automatic it will just detect it automatically if it's landscape or portrait so next i'll export it it's ready for export And it'll take a while to process so there we have it and it's perfectly scaled this is a2 so when you print it in your a2 printer or a printer that can print uh, bigger page sizes then it'll be perfectly scaled and it's also very clear as well so that's it for this tutorial Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye!